In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Google Play Store super fast and easy. Coming up next. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. And what we're going to do in this video is we're going to get the Google Play Store installed on our Amazon Fire tablet so we can get all of the Android apps onto our Fire tablet. Now the first thing we're going to do is hop over onto the computer and install a program. So let's go ahead and do that now. So we're at our computer and what we need to do is go up to our address bar and type in bit.ly slash toolbox one two three so it's got to be exactly as i have here bit.ly slash capital t o o l box one two three and hit enter that's going to take you over to this site here and this is where we're going to download our amazon fire toolbox it tells you a little bit about it here um, these are all of the compatible devices, so as long as you have one of these Fire tablets, this will work. Go down a little bit further, just keep on going down. You can see that we have downloads, and what we want to do is download the latest version, which is version 6.5 as of recording this video. We just click on the download, and that's going to start downloading in our lower left-hand corner. This will take a while because it is a large file. All right, it's almost done. All right, now it's done. Now it says that this download may be dangerous, so we're not scared. We're gonna go ahead and click on the arrow on the right-hand side and click Keep. And what that will do is it will keep the download on our computer. Okay, so this is our download folder here. And you can see that we have a red toolbox in our download folder. And now what we need to do is unzip this file. So if we just double tap on it, it's going to give us another warning saying that it uh, could be dangerous. Don't worry, completely safe. Go ahead and click run anyway. And then we're going to get this, um, which is going to basically extract this archive. So if you don't have 7-Zip installed on your computer, I will leave a link in the video description on where to go to get that downloaded. It's completely free. Just go ahead and download it, and then um, you will be able to extract. We're going to go ahead and click Extract, and it's pretty fast. So it's completed, and now what you can see is we have a folder down here, and we can open that folder up. And we can see that our fire toolbox is right here and this is the program all this other stuff here is stuff that will help the program work what we need to do is just double tap on this and the program will open and you can see that basically it's saying no device was found what it's doing here is constantly searching for your device what we need to do is we need to go over to our device all right, so over on our Fire tablet, what we need to do is go into the settings and we need to go to device options. And what we need to do is go down to where you have your serial number. Also note that your device model is right in this area. So if you um, go back to that web page, make sure that your device is on that list to be sure it's going to work. What we want to do is at the bottom just tap on the serial number until we get the developer options and as i tap you can see at the bottom of the screen it's going to tell you that you're a couple steps away from being a developer and now i am a developer because the developer options shows at the bottom so what we want to do is tap on developer options and what we want to do in this area is go down a little bit where it says enable ADB. Toggle that on, and then we're just gonna click enable. All right, so once that is enabled, we can go back out of our settings 
And now what we need to do is take the USB charging cord that came with our Amazon Fire tablet and plug the USB end to the computer and plug the micro USB end to our Fire tablet just as if we were charging it. So I'm going to go ahead and plug mine in now. All right, so I just plugged it in and you heard the computer recognize that something has been plugged in. And then what we need to do is we need to allow this. So on our Fire tablet, we can tap off the always allow from this computer and then click OK. And now you can see that it has recognized our Fire tablet and the Amazon Fire Toolbox has started up on our computer. So once you're on the Fire Toolbox, you have all of these menu options and you also have arrows at the bottom. So you can tab over, click over, and you can also see your device at the bottom. Also, when you first download it, it may ask you to choose a theme. Um, I already had downloaded this previously when I was testing it, and I chose the terminal just because it's you know black and white and it kind of is the easiest to see, but you have two other themes. All right, now that we have our Amazon Fire Toolbox installed, we can start modifying our Amazon Fire tablet. Okay, so now to install the Google Play Store, what you want to do is go to Google Services on your Amazon Fire Toolbox. So this is going to give you access to the Google Play Store. It's going to automatically update the installed apps and protect your device from malware using Play Protect. All right, so all we need to do is go down to the yes and click on yes. And now it's just going to do all of the work for us. That's what's so great about the Fire Toolbox. It is a little bit of work to install at first, but now you have access to all of this stuff right at your fingertips. And if you keep an eye on the Fire Tablet, at the bottom you will see um, what's going to be installed once it installs everything. This does take a little bit of time because these files are rather large. So on our tablet you can see there's a Google thing at the bottom with a Google cog and now it is installing the Play Store. And now it's installed and what it did is automatically open the Google Play Store. Now when you first install it, there may be some updates that you need to do. So let's, the first thing we're gonna do is actually sign in with our Google account. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so once you put your login information in and agree to the terms and services, you can choose to whether to back it up or not. So I'm gonna say, nah, go next. And now you have the full Google Play Store right on your Amazon Fire tablet. So if we go back, let's see, go back here, and at the bottom here, the last item, you have the Play Store. So you can just tap on that and it will take you back into here. If you wanted to install, say, Google Chrome, you can just tap on that, tap on Install, tap on Accept, and now that is downloading. And we can just tap on Open, and Accept, and now this is um, one thing that you may have to do. So basically the files that were downloaded may not have been completely up to date. So update Google Play Services. Chrome won't run unless you update Google Play Services. So let's just hit update. And click on update again. And click on accept. So just wait for this to completely download. And I think it went back to the same message here. So let's just tap off of that. And say no thanks here. And let's see if this will open. Yep, so here we go. We have Google. Chrome open so we can go back out of this and now you see that we have Google Chrome on our home screen.
and it might be a good idea to actually end the Play Store after you do the update. You just tap on the square at the bottom of your screen and just slide over to end these open apps and open the Play Store again and just make sure that it opens up to the correct screen. I'm going to go ahead and download one more app because I need Dropbox on here. Download Dropbox, click on install, click on accept, and now that is downloading. That is all you need to do to install the Google Play Store on your Fire tablet. Very simple once you have the Amazon Fire Toolbox installed. I hope you found that video helpful. If you have any questions or need any help, just leave them in the comment section, and I will see you in the next video.